What's up guys, it's Mr. J with a brand new video, and we're going to be talking about the Northern Lights. You know, these things. They're also known as, um, I can't really say this word very well, um, Aurora Borealis. That sounded right, so Aurora, uh, see I can't say it, Aurora Borealis. I, I first learned about the Northern Lights watching this movie, um, I, I really liked it. It was very, it was very interesting, um, to learn about it, and I'm kind of obsessed with them. So that's kind of how I got into it. Um, but other than that, like, um, it's on my bucket list to go see them. Um, if you guys ever have the chance to go watch them, I suggest that you do. Um, but anyway, here are some facts. You can see the Northern Lights all over the world, um, including Alaska, Norway, Finland, Scotland, Sweden, Iceland, um, even some parts of the United States like New York, Michigan, Wisconsin, Northern Iowa, Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, um, some parts of Idaho, and some parts of Washington. Um, I know I'm saying Northern Lights, but there are also things called Southern Lights, where you can see in the Southern Hemisphere. But since we're in the Northern Hemisphere, the Northern half of the world, we're just going to be talking about the Northern Lights. And they look like this, but how, how do they get this way? Or, like... I mean, like, let's just, let's just talk about it for a second. So you get these magnificent colors because, uh, they're basically collisions of, um, atoms, okay? And these glows come from collisions between fast-moving electrons and the, um, and the magnetic field of the Earth. So the oxygen and nitrogen molecules in the high up there in the sky in the atmosphere, um, they collide with the magnetic field of the earth and um, other smaller electrons. So they run into each other and they get all this energy and then they start producing these lights that we can see. And specific um, atoms create different lights. So the oxygen, when there's more oxygen, it pre uh, it'll show like a green or yellow or like even a red light, while nitrogen gives off some blue light and, um, you know, combining everything together, it can produce purple, pink, white. So that's how, that's how they get their colors. Um, and they're always there, okay? The northern lights are always there. Sometimes we can't see them, but if you go high enough into the Earth's atmosphere, so the higher you go, the more likely you are to see them. So, for example, there's a space station that's right next to the Northern Lights, so they're always able to see the astronauts. The astronauts are always able to see the Northern Lights. So, so because... Um, each atom and each molecule and each electron produ produces its own color, none, none of the light displays are going to look the same. For example, you have this, you have this, you have this. So it, it all depends on how much oxygen there is in the air, how much nitrogen, like even, even if the sun is around, you know, it's, there's, there's always different conditions for this. Um, the here's a fun fact. Other planets have their own auroras. So you can see lights like, thi like this on Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and, and even Jupiter. Like all of those have some type of um, lights like that. So that's pretty cool. Alright guys, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have other questions about the Northern Lights, let me know. Alright, see you guys later.